I don't know. I think if you can cook pizza, you can cook toast. Because all you're doing is assembling it. Nah, because you toast bread, and that's the final step. I make pizza. I don't know. I, th I think... No, I agree you cook pizza, but if I think you should also cook toast then. Because just because toast has one step... Like, the final step of cooking pizza is baking it. Well, the final step of making toast is, is baking it, essentially. I think you have. Yeah, I think I don't think you can have it both ways. I think if you cook pizza, you have to cook toast. Like anything that involves heat to create the final product, you're cooking it. Like you don't cook cereal because that's just literally a sin. Did I give you permission to start this story mission? We're in the middle of a very serious toast discussion. What do you want, Marston? But then if you're gonna get My into some, hold on, hold on. I've done but then you're going to get into semantics if you're not cooking toast, you're cooking bread. But then you could also be like, you're not cooking pizza, you're cooking bread with a sauce, with a cheese, with meat. Here, here's, how, here's what we're going to agree on, chat. This is how we're going to resolve this, all right? All of us are wrong. And, hold on, hold on. All of us are right. Now everyone's happy. Perfect. Done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. Yeah, this language is the, is the subjective part. Like, I bet if I we all didn't speak... Hold on. I bet if we... Excuse me, Sheriff. I'm talking. Uh, I bet if we didn't speak English... Like, I bet, I bet there's another word for this in Chinese or Japanese or... Uh, one of these languages have a bunch of words, you know? I bet they have a word for cooking that doesn't mean cooking, but probably means, like, preparation or something. All of us are wrong, and all of us are right, and all of us are banned. Definitely. That's it. <laughs> you need to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. Why can't we just kill, go kill Vanderlyn? <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? <sighs> Spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. You really want me to hate this guy. Yeah, I know. It's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. Well, he did murder that he lady. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. I have a problem with him because he murdered he that takes lady. Things a tiny little step too far. Yeah, like murdering innocent ladies. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. And disagreeing with him. Yeah, that's He's also a goddamn problem. killer. Yeah, that, I would agree with that. Now. Also, great, great interjection I'm from that guy. intellect, but the metaphysical leap from... Admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So. This is a really bad metaphor, by the way. It's easy. How is no one commenting on my eye patch? Like, I just show up one day, I have no eye. You see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect they're really not so bad exactly what's the alternative <laughs> See, i'll tell you what the good point dude that's it they know how much i love it's flowers about one man and his gun versus another man <laughs> sure civilization may be dull but the alternative mr marston is hell and the way you enforce this civilization, this mm -hmm. freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in <laughs> God's name you were just talking about, <laughs> is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now... After the debacle with the I believe it's pronounced debacle. We have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. 
Then what was that pretty speech you made of? I don't rightly know. Well, someone wrote it, but so someone's got to read it. Saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. God, we are the slowest dudes in the history of slow. Another Gatling gun? All right. You know, I can't just kill people with a regular gun. Let's see if we can put this to rest once and for all, shall we? Could have shot all those dudes. I thought about it for the LOLs. Have you seen this? Don't touch it's a gun until I tell you. Oh, oh, I hope he stops doing that. <laughs> it's a slow dude for God, we are so slow, dude. First, why the hell are you shooting? Well, it's just scaring people. Uh, excuse me, sir. This killing machine of yours okay. seems to be turning a few heads. Never mind. Our armed forces have no equal. <laughs> that dude is a baller no right there. The past few years. Is that what you and call this it? isn't much more than a simple prototype. Hold on, guys. I gotta get rid of my waypoint. It's killing me. Thank you. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. <laughs> that dude is made of steel. I didn't tell you to open fire. Oh, sorry. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw him in. Don't touch that gun until oh, I tell you. Sorry, my bad, my bad, dudes. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking they should, to They should probably go hire that dude instead of me. Like, he is invincible. Yeah, 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 I got the machine gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. I mean, we got the whole military going after one dude and we're going to fail. Like, at what point does it become not John's fault? This, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Lay him down. Let's do this. Keep your eyes peeled. Justice ain't gonna dispense itself. Oh, I figure I am. Is that is that bad do? Should I not be? There they are! Open fire! Take that! I'm getting like six frames a second, dude. Hold him up! He's dynamite, dude. Don't let him get too close! I mean, they've got to have a better strategy than this. Like, we'll kill you all. They're retreating. Cease fire and mount up. We're going after them. I'm not in the military. I don't deliver the orders. This one dude over here, he is a god. Okay, he's like the guy who walked in front of my car. He can't be stopped. Right. This thing's a lot bumpier off the road. It's going to be a mess. There we go. We have to follow them into the woods. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have to follow them into the woods, chat. This is insanity. I can hardly hold on. Just shut up and drive, Gordon. It's like it's as smooth as can be. Look out behind those rocks. Get them back. Ah! 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 
Fairly really certain that guy just blew himself up. Remember, it was your idea to drive out here. I just keep it steady. For the record, Wilhelm Cream, lol. It's like Diva, no reload. That's probably why I'm so good at this. Just hold R2 to win, dude. Where's my mini missiles? Justice ain't gonna dispense itself. 800 bullets, one kill. <laughs> My my weapon accuracy is point zero 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 one. Hey, there's a tree there, brother. Quick, do something about that wagon. This wagon? Okay. But I mean, you think this like one guy's out here? He's like, dude, I'm gonna take him out. Don't worry, Dutch. I know the perfect rock to hide in. Oh, who would have thought I got shot in the head? Lol. How embarrassing. And the truth will set you free. Oh, now it's dark and rainy too. That explosion affected the weather. Uh-oh. The sheriff done got hurt. His spleen exploded. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to us. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. Well, then you're a little late, my, you my brother. That. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> really? With this again? Just go do it, man! Now, before I shoot you myself... Let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. The wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. Don't ask stupid questions. Let's go high noon him. Mount up, man. Let's up. Mount your horse. That's not my horse. I knew that, chat. I was just testing you guys, and none of you said that's not your horse, so y'all failed. You're all banned. All right, forget these guys. They take forever. All right, they want to talk to me. You know what? I don't even care what they have to say. We're riding. Oh, I saw some sun for a second. Oh, I think that was supposed to be lightning. Imagine if I had to ride with the army. It'd take forever. It'd be next Wednesday before they arrived. Hey. Alright, I can't jump down there. I guess I gotta take the path. That's fine, whatever.
Yep, going up the mountain. You were right about a mission taking us there. Come on. Oh, did Rockstar make yeah. Bully? This Bully music sounds like Bully music. Move, soldier. Yeah, they did. I liked your caps. Can we do caps all the time? So I'm going to put this ram uh, skull out front. It'll really intimidate them. Go! Get down! I just want to pause it right now, chat, just real quickly to remind you that earlier in the game, we we blasted a, a Mexican woman out of her jail cell with four pieces of dynamite and she lived through it. And in this one, we used one piece of dynamite on a giant log door and we ran 600 miles away and we were all scared little women. I don't want to be like, said beat this game today, but also maybe beat it tomorrow. It's time to kill these motherless bastards! I mean, I'm sure they, I'm sure they have mothers. Do you fellas sit down or something? One, two, three. Move off the line! Like, Sheriff, maybe you shouldn't run right in front of John Marston, like... It's you or me, friend! We have you should have run when you had the chance. Did John just say, you pissed sitting down or something? I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that, but that would not surprise me. He has some pretty great lines in here. Because I didn't play it's high noon, Chad. I should have done a high noon for that last one. I would have killed them all. Come on, dude. boys! Everybody move in! Cover system? Nah, man. What do you do? Pee sitting down? Oh, yeah, sure, John. Just auto use the shotgun. Perfect. Come on! Push them back! Picked up a new shotgun, nice. Shoot, damn it. It's hard. I'm getting good at this. Keep pushing. Not kill me, Stop man. right there, Son of a man. Brains out. Covering fire. There's another wave on I thought you were a killer. Aim but surrender now. For Christ's sake! Let's swear it is, buddy! Right here! Push into the village! Come on, let's finish this! Advance into the village. I like how this person knows the intimate details of Vanderlyn's base, and I like how this door is wide open. Real 
Use the Gatling gun to eliminate Dutch's gang. What if I just want a high noon? Like, why would... Okay, so the only reason, like, Dutch would have this Gatling gun is to use it on me, and then there's no one manning it when I get in here. Okay. Makes sense, chat. I guess crazy people don't make the best strategists. Is that the idea? Was fun. Just checking for loot, chat. Just checking for loot. Yeah, you know, why is no one on the Gatling gun? You know, exactly. Yeah, dude, you just you rub snow on it. Heals all wounds. See, I knew there'd be a container in one of these places. I knew there would be. Stealing all these dead dudes' money. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I will provide the cover fire. Okay. Remember, four pieces of dynamite to free the Mexican one. This is it, man. Let's get that gate down. Keep them covered now, Marston. Up top! Cover them! Hellfire! Strike it up! They're not shooting the dudes. They're shooting me. Oh, these dudes take 800 shots. I pressed select, chat. I pressed it. I pressed it. I'm mad about it, dude. I'm mad about it. Shame. Shut up, lady. I don't need your opinion. All right, man. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Hold them off. We need time to set the explosives. This guy is still alive, chat. They all take four shots. Anybody else? Over there! Eyes up, man! Don't you stay on there, do something! Why am I shotgunning them? Can anyone answer that? That's why they took so many shots, because I was shotgunning them. I like it when the game resets, it just equips my shotgun. Do you want to die? Real men don't Everyone get back! Here it comes! You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. No, 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 you don't. You don't have to do that. You could just leave and then say you did. Looks like it's me and you. John. Oh, here we go. How about I just throw some dynamite up you there? Stayed at home. I don't have a home that I know of yet. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't cover, John. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hey Dutch, you're like on fire. I got my family. Your family? 
Abigail was any man's wife, John. Now you're talking a lot of trash about my wife. Son, just okay. like you. That is messed up. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Yeah, you just now notice that you're on fire, dude? Just now notice that? Hey, high noon him right now, dude. Me alive, John. Wasn't that wasn't what I was trying to do. Okay, calm down, John. You're just on fire a little bit, all right? It's not a big deal. No? This wasn't anywhere I was supposed to go, was it? Was I not even supposed to go up here? Or? I, I don't think so, chat. Well, I'm lost. He got away. See, what happened was uh, I was chasing him, Marshall, and then he went a direction, and then I went the other direction, and lol. Calm down, John. It's just a little fire. Yeah, that was that. Time. It's over, John. High noon. I ain't leaving here without you. We're running away again. Shoot his butt! You're just like me, John. You can't change Oh, he can shoot, but I can't. I just gotta stand here and listen to a monologue. Is that the whole idea? I ain't like you. You might be like him, John. Except he knows how to shoot, and you don't. See, there ain't good, any good loot in here. He's got a nice chair, though, for a... Uh, you know? Am I supposed to go somewhere? Open container. I knew there was going to be loot. I knew there was. I stole his money, chat. What about that trunk? That's a fancy one. Nothing in there. All right, let's follow him. Um, ladder, I'm guessing. Yep, there it is. Like, he could be in Tennessee by now, like, for real. Fat? Who? Are you trolling me or are you trolling John Marston? That's where you're wrong. All right, let's get him. Yeah, he got me, dudes. Hey, fictional. If that if hey, if you're still here, fictional. If that guy oh, says anything that you don't like. In the next Hello, chat, Dutch. just ban him. We'll let you put Dutch, your mod powers to use. Like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. Just shoot him, dude. Just shoot him, dude. This is a good one. Just shoot him, dude. I don't doubt it. Just shoot him, dude. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't. Fight change. When did he even get hurt? Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? And I have to shoot you. In the fire? Maybe he tripped and fell right away? I'm he got really hurt for tripping and falling. Another monster. They have to. I'm kind of ex I really actually like this character as a villain. Like, I mean, we didn't get to see him that business. much, but... Like, if he's a big part of Red Dead 2, I'm, that's, that's pretty hype-worthy, in my opinion. Our time has passed. Yeah. He did. He's dead, Jack. So at the end, you did.
didn't have the guts to shoot. The man's dead, Ross. Yeah, he dead. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. He's gonna double check. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. <laughs> they were sent back to that, that was very funny. ranch of yours in Beecher's home. You got They're him, though. quite safe and sound. Ten out of ten, troll. Be. Almost got Thank him killed. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. All right. Wow, 500 fame. I'm almost all the way to the end, dudes. Head home to see your family. Oh, there's another song. Freaking wolves, get out of here, bro. The only compass that I need. Oh, is the one. I, I might finish it today, man. I'll probably still do the challenges, though. I really want to finish the Master Hunter. And the burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close to fall. You know, this song's pretty good too, but it's not nearly as good as uh, Jose Gonzalez. Wolves, please no. Please no, wolves. Wolves ruined my immersion. One out of ten. Hi, dog. The outlaws return. Oh, man. I mean, it's still good. It's just not as good. Actually, I'm going to pause it right here, dudes. I'm going to go pee, and then uh, I guess I'm going to, like, close out the game. Um... So, yeah, uh, I'm going to go pee, get some more coffee. I'll be right back, dudes. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for being patient. All right, let's close this out. Abigail! I mean, I know this Jack. ain't going to go good. Anyone here? I mean, I knew this wasn't going to go good. I done knew it. It's a rock star, dude. Anyone home? John's going to get sniped. I'm waiting. Zoom. Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. Uh-oh. You no-good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling! You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I saw him. Felt and Bill? Cliff. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him, too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again, nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you, and like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. You're gonna mention my missing eye? What about my missing eye, though, dude? 
I also have this pretty sweet duster I can show you. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How long has it been, dude? How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. Yeah, that's not surprising. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. Who's this dude, our no uncle? One, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. Exactly. No cattle. That's what I said. What's so silly about the assassin's outfit is that he would actually be a terrible assassin. Somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Maybe because you got pea Instead soup in your beard, bro. You, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Well, your best sucked. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. <laughs> oh, wreck, dude. I'm gonna start using that line with my son. Hold your excuses until you figure it out which one to use. Oh, Abigail, you're indecent, my lord. John, she's nude, and you're literally fully clothed. Maybe make it less awkward. I like his wife, too. She's fiery. <laughs> to plow, like Frank Reynolds would say. Oh, I dropped this monster condom for my magnum dong. Horse! Let's go! Come on, Jack. Yeah. I got my water hunters and my magnum condoms. I'm ready to plow. I assume me and Jack are going to talk, right? So, Jack, uh, how's school been? How you feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan's stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met them while I was away. All he says is yes, sir. Marlins are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! <laughs> Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. <laughs> well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Hey, you got shot immediately, dude. Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favors. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harmed me. <laughs> like you? a Mr. Coffee. No, they're okay. You guys are some of them even told grossly me hilarious. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Well, like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, 
You can make it up to it's him right now by telling him about Thieves Landing and the best game in the world, Liar's Dice. Tell him to become a professional Liar's Dice player. Visit the World Series of Liar's Dice. Oh, was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? Well, I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. I mean, he's 16. He's probably old enough to do you? it. I guess I'm a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. What's the good book? See spot run? About herding cattle? I've never seen you hurt anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. <laughs> You're grounded. The were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. It's what ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper that ranching's dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. I thought you it was these fire. That makes sense. You read. I was thinking, maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the Old West on the side. You can be whatever you want, son, but for now, let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. Unless you're planning on striking literary gold in the next day or two, that is. We shouldn't talk now, Jack. We don't want to waste all our breath before we even get there. We're almost there, dude. It's a little awkward. I have to make it awkward, dude. I see it. I see the ranch see the man with his glorious mustache. Probably said I was going to speed up. Yeah, but I'm not going to leave my son behind. There's the ranch. Come on. Let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. Found him. He's just standing right out here in the open. Looking all mad and stuff. Oh, so angry. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out to cry now. She'll be more than happy to help you. I bet she would. <laughs> I'd give her that morning drip, right, chat? Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Go. All right, Jack. You're gonna have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive him from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. She's not a sure, coffee Paul. drinker. I can do that, no problem. And if you see She's more into the cream, off, eh? Can you help me round him up? I'll do my best, sir. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me? A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. I'm gonna wearing pants. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been Oh, she's not wearing well. pants, chat. Come on then. She's wearing like well she is, but she's not. She's like wearing like some weird Hillary Clinton pantsuit thing. One, always one cow has got to be a dummy. Head for the river, son!
Come on. Let's go, cows. Whoa. I'll give you a hand to get them moving. Good luck, John. Come back and see you sometime. So, what happened? Last I heard, you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. Whoa there. Okay, cows, where you think you're going? You get your big cow butts back over. Cow? Oh, I'm gonna skin you. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna skin you, cow. Get back over there. Get. Get. You too. Get. Get your big old cattle butt back over to where you belong. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Hello. Move it up. Come on. How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Yeah, they well, didn't talk a lot, I'm glad right, you're Chat? Back together again. It's Bet gonna take are. some time. We've all been through a lot. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Call everything. Funny, you don't. Jack, we need to move him across the river. Let's go. Come on. Get to going, you big fatty. You better get your big fat cow butt up into the herd before I get out my shotgun, all right? And make an example of you. For John being a stone cold killer, he sure is wise about family issues on the side. Dude, John, John's a god, all right? He knows everything. He read a lot of self-help books. Like, I feel like my son is not helping. Like, he's way over there. What if a train came right now and just ran over all 15 of my cows? Slow up. Like, Wait, count. Slow down. They look like rustlers. I'll deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. Show my son some high noon action. Of course I had the shotgun out. Horses too, chat. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. Yeah. Free horses. Mm, you all right? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry, you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. No, they won't. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. 
Easy. Why is there one cow who's got to be a turd every time? Cow, you better turn your big butt around and get with the herd, or I will literally come at you like I did those rustlers, all right? I will come at you like a python. Get up there. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Wait, why'd this cow just take a sharp turn? Oh, because there's a rock. All right. Come on. Get to going, cows. Get to going. Get in the pen. You almost made it. Get in there. All right. Now lead him into the pen. Get to going, cow. Let's go. Come on. Nice work, son. We Good. made it. 10 out of 10 farmer, dude. Go on. Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. There you go. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. He didn't Thanks, shoot Paul. squat. Make a rancher of you yet. He wants to be a rider, though, dude. I'm just saying. Rancher clothing menu entry added. Oh, I made money by buying cattle. Okay, so I've literally got Annabelle and Jack missions. That's pretty cool. They're like making me play the epilogue. I like it. Um... Eleven AM and six PM, okay. Can I like go to sleep in my own home though? Or like do I start this Annabelle mission by just approaching the house? Yep. Okay, that's fine. We'll do it. Pestilence. Mmm, steak, dude, she's a keeper. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past fifteen years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. Be honest though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. <laughs> dude. I never was much of a savages, cook, but dude. I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> That way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. No, I'm a bad as Ray is. Illiterate gunslinger, you? you sure know how to make a girl blush. How dare you, fictional band. <laughs> God damn, Cross! John! You have got to go deal with them. You mean to shoot They've some birds? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. You didn't wash your hands, dude. Come You've been on. skinning animals for the last three weeks. <sighs> oh, my sweet business.
I feel like the the other gun's better, to be honest. Could really use some snake oil right now. Did you guys see that cool roll? Dynamite them with dead eye? Great idea. Once I have some uh, dynamite, I'll definitely do that. Could probably just dynamite them, to be honest. So, uh, Abigail, dear, um, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was trying to kill the corn baby, and uh, what happened was I, uh, I, I tried to kill them all with dynamite, dynamite and you see, uh, uh, I, uh, I accidentally threw the dynamite, and it hit the silo, and uh, you see, like, I blew up all of the corn. And I just wanted you to remember how I killed three men and got you out of jail. Uh, and remember Jack, he doesn't want to see his father dead. Uh, so I was trying to get the crows and everything, but I end up destroying our entire livelihood. So LUL, uh, I'm going to go play some Liar's Dice for a minute, let you cool down. I'll come back in a week or so. I love you. Bye, baby. Let's try it with the dead, with the dead eye guys. That one didn't happen, chat. That one that one didn't happen. All right. All right, crows, get out of here. That'll do it. Finally. Now about that stew. <laughs> that was way better. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, the dynamite went like up and then curved. It was amazing, dude. Kelly caught a wind drift. Really impressive stuff. How do you do, sir? Don't call me sir, you nub. Dude, my house is lit. Hi there, Abigail. I just say I went. Are you kidding me? Where's my hat? Where's my door? There it is. Why can't I change my outfit, chat? Where's my outfit? I want to change into my clothes. Let me change my clothes. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Let's just go do the stupid missions. You think my room's upstairs? Well, it said I could save game. Usually it lets me say or change clothes in the same place I could save. I'll take your word for it. Let's just do the stupid mission. Hey guys, it's me, Z Swigs. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, informative, and most of all, entertaining. Please leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Also, come hang out with me every day over at twitch.tv slash zswigs. We're playing fun games over there. I love all of you, and thanks again for all your support.